everyone, there are brands that I personally wouldn't buy from for full price because you don't need to. And it really got me thinking because I've spoken about this topic kind of before, but I've never gone into really deep detail on it. And I also haven't kind of given the full list of brands that I, you don't have to uh, pay full price for. So I'm gonna share with you some actual examples of the deals that you can generally get and the items that you can get those deals on. Because sometimes, you know when you can get a deal, it's on something that's kind of a bit gross, but actually you can get current things. I also thought that I would do a giveaway at the end of this video. So if you wanna know how to enter, then keep watching and I'll tell you how to do that at the end. Back to it. The brands that I think, or the brands that I know you can get a deal on are Yves Saint Laurent, Manolo Blahnik, Balenciaga, Miu Miu, Prada, Balmain, Burberry, Valentino, Givenchy, Max Mara, Bottega Veneta, did I say Alexander McQueen, and more. I'm actually gonna put below all of the other brands that I haven't picked out for this video, but that you can always pretty much get a, a discount on. You can get the Max Mara Teddy Coats. Do not be spending full price on the Max Mara Teddy Coats. Get a, a discount. Here's how we're gonna do it. I've got my computer and I don't know what sites are best to go to for this. Well, I've got a kind of idea and that's part of it as well because there are some online retailers who near enough never do discounts. Uh, Net-a-Porte is one, Matches Fashion are another. Sometimes my Teresa do a 10% off if you're a new customer, but there are other places where it's a lot easier to get a discount. Let's do Yves Saint Laurent. I'm just going to add a whole load of things to my basket and we are gonna see whether we can find a coupon code and whether we can get money off. And we're gonna pick things that aren't gross. So let's begin. I'm actually gonna to go to, I'm gonna to go to um, Farfetch first. I think I'm gonna start by adding to my bag this Yves Saint Laurent bag, which is a good one and that's a decent size as well. I'll show you a quick visual here. Let's add a Balenciaga city bag that's also a really nice bag as well what else should we go for i'm gonna go for some prada prada is another brand never spend full price on it do not even if it's a classic item that you want prada you can generally get as well at vista village and any brand that um goes into outlet shopping stores in my opinion it's not that you, for example, Dior's in Vista Village, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get a discount on any of the current bags, but you can get discounts. So I'm gonna add some Prada. We don't know at this point which of these items we might get a discount on, but I think we're gonna get a discount on everything just because they're brands that I know you can. Then we're gonna add some Manolos because they are, they're actually good shoes. Let's add a Balmain blazer. Where can I find one? Let's go for this white one here. That's the first Burberry bag I have seen in a long time that has caught my eye, 1,300. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this now. I'm just gonna go and see whether we can get anything off. The way I'm gonna do this, here is the advert, by the way. So I'm using ShopTagger, and ShopTagger is an online shopping tool that helps you save money so it gets you it looks for discount codes for you so you don't have to and in this case on farfetch it's actually found 10. weirdly one of them is mine and i don't know how they know that uh let's see how much money has it got us off and are there any things that it won't get the money off okay so it's got oh, it's saved 726 pounds and actually, when you look through it, everything we've added, it's got money off. And I'm actually gonna skip over now to another retailer to see if we can get some money off anything else, which I'm convinced we will. The good thing about ShopTagger is it's free. I've spoken about it before, okay? But the benefit to it is if, you, um, if you're someone who shops a lot online, which is probably most of us at the moment, ShopTagger is free. You sign up to it. I'll show you how to sign up. It's pretty easy. You just sign up with an email address. 
you then install the shop tagger icon. So you can see all the way through this, when I'm finding the discounts, I don't have to do anything. The shop tagger icon pops up and it searches for live coupons. And the icon sits in the top right hand section of your desktop. And if ever you want to save anything, you just click it and then you can either create lists. So if you want to create a section for like boots, let's say, and you want them to be separate, from shoes or other clothes, you can just do that. Click that, the tick icon, go to your homepage and you will see the item there. They'd introduced this cashback thing, but they're broadening it all the time. So that more and more retailers are being added to that cashback. And it's a nice way of earning some extra money while, while you shop. Um, the other good thing with it is that I've noticed in order to get your cashback out, it's not complicated. You can just withdraw the money to your PayPal account. I'm going to go over to Louisa the Aroma and I'm going to hopefully be able to demonstrate the cashback thing. So the cashback basically works where you click this button at the top, you enable cashback and in addition to saving any money, you earn money off the back of it. So it looks like with Louisa the Aroma, how much is it going to give me? It's going to give me, I think, uh, 5%. I get 5% back on whatever I spend. Now, I've added quite a lot to my shopping cart here because I just want to know what it's going to work on and what it doesn't or if it can find me a coupon. So not only has it found a coupon code that's got me 10% off everything in my shopping cart, this will earn me £447.95 in cash back that will go into my shop tagger account and you can then withdraw it to your PayPal. And you can see as well, all of the brands I'm talking about that you don't have to spend full price on. Websites you can go to, to get the discounts because this, you don't wanna be faffing about adding stuff to your shopping cart to find out that there's no codes there. There are websites that tend to do codes and then there are retailers that just don't. I found, I did try net a -Porte. They had a coupon which was first 10, but my order didn't qualify for it. And I think it's because the account that I used, even though I've never bought through it before, I think because it's an existing account, it wouldn't let me have the discount. But if you create a new account, you might found, find that works for you. Matches Fashion also, they don't really tend to do too much in the way of coupon codes. I do find Farfetch do a lot of them. Louisa via Roma do a lot of them. And actually I was pretty amazed because with um, with both of those retailers, they were f um, there were codes coming up through ShopTagger that I hadn't ever heard of. Um, and Louisa via Roma are normally quite good at emailing you about codes, but none of the ones that it found, I actually got an email to. Harrods do two 10% off days a year. And I think if you've got the rewards card and you're at a certain tier, I think you can also apply for two further more 10% off days and you just log into your account and it will do it. And the 10% off works in store, but it also works online as well. And you can shop all of these things online. So go onto the Harrods website, sign up for your 10% off day. They normally email you when that 10% off day is activated, or you can just wait until there's, there is a 10% off. There's normally one coming up about now in October, I, as I remember. And Yves Saint Laurent, Givenchy, sometimes Celine, um, Stella McCartney, all of those brands, they are included in the 10% off. And it, as I say, it's not the junk. It's not the ugly stuff that no one wants. So they're the brands and that's how you do it. That's how you get the discounts. Let's talk about the competition. So the competition, as I mentioned earlier, I thought that it would be quite nice to give the winner the choice of what they want, as opposed to I normally buy something and then that's the prize. But in this case, I thought let's do like a pick and mix and then you can decide. In order to be in with a chance of winning, go and find this picture on my Instagram and then leave a comment. You don't have to follow me. You can just leave a comment if you wish and I will pick the winner at random and then you can pick your item. I will then go and buy it and post it to you. In order to qualify, 
find the picture and leave a comment, but also sign up to ShopTagger. If you're already a ShopTagger user, obviously you don't have to sign up again. Um, and then the winner, all I'll do is I will ask you, I think what I'll do is I'll ask the winner to confirm their email address that they've used for ShopTagger, then I'll confirm that with ShopTagger, and then I will post out your prize. Good luck if you're gonna enter, and I'll see you in the next video.